Welcome back, and today we have David Garcia, dear friend of mine, with Boomerang Cares and Roofing on Top, and he's going to talk a little bit today about his nonprofit, Boomerang Cares, and about how to market a nonprofit. So, David, thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, man, thank you so much for inviting me. I was excited when you gave me this opportunity. I was like, hey, Mario, when can I get on the show? So it, it, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to talk about our nonprofit and things that are going on. Uh, it's just an exciting time of year, man. Totally, totally. Glad to have you on. Um, man, I've known you for, it's got to be It's got to be about like, 17, 18 years now, maybe. Maybe. No, it hadn't been that long. Maybe 15? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, something well, like something that. like that. It's been a while, man. Yeah. And I, for all you guys that don't know Mario before he got into his marketing with Mario or his marketing <laughs> agency uh, i met him uh, i used to work for a moving company and he was with something called shakeology shakeology right yep, yep. and uh, we met each other outside of a um an apartment complex they were having an event and we just stumbled across each other and started getting to know one another and i told him hey i got this uh, ribbon cutting or this marketing uh, this networking group that i'm a part of love for you to come check it out and he came and and look at him now type thing you know so it was really cool but it's it's amazing to see you know where we were and where what we've done and, and where we're at now so absolutely man i was just thinking about that on the on the drive over here yeah. that you're still in my phone as david movie guy because <laughs> uh, we met at that um at that vendor event yep. and put I just quickly got your phone number because you know yeah. and then you invited me to the ribbon cutting you let me show up in shorts i had no idea <laughs> it's funny uh, i still have that picture and i love showing it off sometimes i send it to him every once in a while yeah like, look at those little bitty shorts i was like man <laughs> everybody else is like we're like this is casual here i am in shorts so, yeah, no. Um, but that's really cool. I mean, it, it really goes to show, you know, what networking is about and establishing relationships. And that's, yes. what, you know, I know that's what you and I are both really fond of and honestly proud of, too, of what we've been able to do in the past years as far as establishing relationships with people. And, you know, you, you, you begin to not just business relationships, but begin to make friends through that process. Absolutely. And it's amazing. So. No, I, I love that. And, and like you mentioned, I love seeing how far you've come from that initial toy drive that you did so kind of tell me tell us the background of boomerang cares why you started it um and kind of allude to that that first toy drive and what it is today yep so this was back in uh 2015 we we're actually i was part of the leadership allen class and we did a uh, uh we had to do a, a project and it was during the holidays and i said hey let's i would love to do this toy drive type thing and uh, we ended up doing another project, but in my opinion, you know, we still needed something around the community for this. And the main reason why I started this, and I tell everybody, I tell we have a gala each year, and I talk about it. The main reason I started the toy drive is I remember when I was a little kid, I was four or five years old, and either Salvation Army or the church came to my house, and they came with this trash bag full of toys. Unexpectedly, we didn't know they were coming, and they gave me this big toy truck man and i'll never forget that never and uh throughout the years it, it just you know it resonated with me and then when this opportunity came up it, it was like okay i need to do something to to give somebody something that they gave me you know type thing and i always tell people i wish i knew that one person that and it could have been a volunteer it could have been a, some kid just doing it you know whatever but that one person made an impact on my life that they would never in a million years imagine what they did for me and I feel like my mission now is to be able to do that for one kid that that person did for me, and they go off and do something bigger and better what we're doing. And I feel like we're doing a lot. And if they're able to do that, something bigger and better, that's, I believe that's how the world should be, man. And so we started that toy drive 2015. And from there, and I, were you there at that first one? I was. I mean, it, was at, it was called Mexico. It was a little restaurant in Allen, Texas. We were at a little booth, and we helped out about three families that day, or not that day, for that Christmas. Had a little bit of gifts, and then from there, it just progressed over year, year. And now we're, you know, we were able to help out over 100 families this past year. And uh, it's just grown bigger and better, man. And it's amazing what people will help you with, you know. And it's the support of the community that, that yeah. is uh, everything. No, that's I, I love it. Um, and you you mentioned you know those those first couple of of drives. I'm I'm not sure if I was at the Mexico one. I might have been at the one 
at the wing place. Yeah, you were across there, the street. Yeah, you were at Sauce. Um, That's where it was. Yes, but I know I, you went to two or three. Okay, uh, but yeah, I, I'm not sure if you're at Mexico, but it, it was just you know something that we wanted to do, and some people showed up. But again, you know, with those three families. Yes, you know, like it, it would be amazing if that one family, the first family that we helped they had a child that was going to remember that, that what we did, you know? And, yeah. And that's the beauty about what we do. I mean, our, again, my mission, I feel like, is to help one child out that somebody helped me out with and go off and do something bigger and better. I love it. And, you know, the the first one, a couple of started out small, but at the end of the day, like you said, it's like there's a saying, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who it is that's, that said this, but do for one what you would like to do for many. Oh. And I love your heart behind it because then – it just blew up and it just grew and grew and grew yeah. to where now you're having to uh, to rent out you know places for the gala. It's just yeah. I'm so proud of what you've been able to accomplish with it because I remember bringing my little toy going, you know, you know, I want to help out. Yeah. Um, and then now to see where it's at now, even though I did give you a hard time because I thought there was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I did too, though. I don't know. <laughs> So at the, at the one at Sauce, I was like, man, I'm going to go there. I'm going to get some wings because he's you – know, I be did. I, I did. That was my mess up. You know, everything is a learning curve. Well, I promoted we are going to have food there. Well, we did, but they were like little hors d'oeuvres, like <laughs> chips and salsa. And Mario shows up, and he's like, hey, man, I thought you were going to have some food. And I thought he was playing around, but no, he was serious. And I was like, man, I said, you can order something if you want. He's like, oh, man, you said there was going to be some free food. I was like, my bad, man. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're good. You have to remember in 2015. I was still, you know, getting my business off the ground. So I'm like, man, I'm broke. I need some, I need some food. And so that was hilarious. So, so every year after that, I was like, hey, yeah, man, there's gonna be food here, like legit food. And I think the funniest part about that was it was at a wing place. So I'm yeah. like, oh man, there's gonna be like wings and fries. So I'm like, what is this chips and dips? I came for dinner. Um, but you know, back on a serious note, you guys have you and, and Josie and, and your board, y'all have helped so many families yeah. now um you know especially with the gala kind of tell us about the impact that you guys have been able to have in the community with um with boomer and cares i know you yeah. guys do some yeah you know, like these bingo nights and some other things with gather kind of talk yeah. about some of those things so our mission our, what boomer and cares is really about is we help families going through hardship and struggles in the Collin County area for now Collin County uh but what we really look for are those families that don't qualify for government assistance and barely make ends meet and can't afford the extra. You know, for example, we helped out a family, uh, you know, a few months ago that her son wanted to play band, but they couldn't afford an instrument. So they reached out to another nonprofit. And this is the beautiful thing about the nonprofit world and partnering up. They went to, they, they reached out to another nonprofit. They don't do that sort of thing. So they reached out to us because we were partners with them and they brought that family over and we were able to help that family with the, with a, a saxophone, a refurbished saxophone, I believe it was like $1,200. Mm. And what, you know, going through some hardships and struggles and not being able to afford things, that's, that's a lot of money for a, for a band instrument. And so we were able to provide them with that. And when we met them over at the instrument uh, shop, I mean, just the light in their eye and the mom, a uh, single mom of four, I mean, she was so grateful and just, it meant the world, dude. Like, it meant the world to her, it meant the world to us. And just getting that reaction and, the, and just being able to know we're making an impact on that kid's life and is amazing, you know? And so, you know, just little things like that. But overall, I mean, I just want to be, I just want people to see what we're doing because I want other people to do it too, you know? And that's my big thing. And I've got a great board behind us. I mean, every year, Mario, <laughs> October comes around, and I'm like, dang, I start getting stressed out because I know I have to get ready for a, a, the toy drive before the galas and before we had a board because I would, me and my wife would be doing this on our own and collecting toys, raising money. It was stressful, man. And every October, I'm like, oh, all right, here we go. I got to do it, though. Do I want to? And then November rolls around, more stress. December rolls around. We finish everything. And then the most gratifying and joyous thing about this is when you go drop off those toys and you see a grown man cry. Oh, yeah. Like, because, you know, being a dad, dude, like that, it's having that pride. Yeah. And not being able to help your family. And yeah. then, but having enough humbleness to, to go in and take those toys. Yeah. That's, I'm like, man, dad, you're going to be a good, good job for you. You yeah. know, type thing. And so, 
Uh, that's man, and that's what it's about. And and now I I do my best, you know, with marketing to show that to everybody because again, if they're able to see what we're doing, anybody can do it. Yeah, anybody can do it. It is time consuming, but who doesn't have time? A little bit of time. Right. And I know we all stress about man, I don't have time this and that, but you do. You know, I say it about working out. <laughs> but I know I do have time somewhere. Yeah. And so it, it's just you know these little things where you know being getting the community involved. And it's taken 14 years to where I'm at and where we're at now of what we've done. And it does. It, we, you plant seeds. Yes. It's not a thing that's going to happen, right? You know, a gratification type thing, right? Boom. You you really are doing something, but you've got to look at the long term. And when you do, good things are going to happen. No, that's so good. And, you know, I'm so glad you touched on all that. You know, it touched touched me because I've... I love, you know, the the man that you are, the father that you are. It just and it it touches me to know that your your dad is looking down on you and you're making him so, you know, so proud on what you've been able to do yeah. um, for for these other families because you've been there. Yeah. Um, you know, when you were growing up, so it's just really neat on how you're paying back. Um, and you you allu- you alluded to it earlier about how, you know, you partner with different nonprofits mm-hmm. because you know there's maybe some things that they do that you don't do and things of that nature so i know you do have a marketing background yep. um and so kind of tell nonprofits out there kind of share some things that you're doing to market your nonprofit because it's not easy to get the word out oh, there man. about yep. your nonprofit you have to build the trust because who am i giving my money to yep. and then the different aspects of that kind of share some some of your knowledge that that has worked for you guys to to market boomerang cares yeah. and how to successfully market a nonprofit. yeah so what i've come to realize and first and foremost i named my marketing agency and the nonprofit. well marketing agency boomerang strategies and the nonprofit is boomerang cares i'm a firm believer the more you throw out the more you get back hence the name boomerang it's not just in life but it's in, it's not just in business, excuse me. It's not just in business. It's in life in general. The more good things you do, the more that'll come back. And I really didn't realize how much I was touching on that when I named the company until now, you know, because that was, you know, 14 years ago, whenever the thought process were coming around. And it's been an amazing journey. But going back to your question, what's worked for us is really just content. Content, content, content. I mean, you're in marketing. You understand how valuable the pictures and videos are. Most people don't like to do it. I don't like to do it a lot of times, but I know it's necessary. That's the big, that's the first thing. The second thing is cross promotion. Oh, cross promoting is the biggest thing with those with that content because you don't know Salvation Army. If we do something with Salvation Army, how many followers do they have? If you tag them, they're going to see what's going on from your page and vice versa. I mean, it's just it's just a numbers game at that point, And you just got to figure out where to touch at. You know, if you're reaching somebody that has a lot of followers, tag them if you're doing something with them. Like today, like I'm going to tag you on something that we're doing and just show, and, and just thanking you. And that's what it's about whenever you're just in the moment. And I know it's hard sometimes because a lot of people don't have that marketing skill or think about taking pictures or videos. But do your best just even at the end, just a quick selfie or something along those lines, because that does go a long way. And the more you're out there, the more that you're going to get in, in return. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So those two things I would really touch on just to begin with. And it doesn't cost anything. That's the biggest thing. It doesn't cost money to take pictures and do quick videos. And when you're able to do that man, put it out there on any social platform that you're on, because I guarantee you somebody's going to see it. No, that's that's awesome. So um, if you are part of a nonprofit or own a nonprofit out there, you know, take this advice. You know, if you're at an event, make sure you're you're getting video, make sure you're getting pictures. These could be with your phone, too. It doesn't have to be anything professional. In fact, it might even be better because it feels more genuine and authentic. So really get that that content out there. Um, I know you also own a roofing company, Roofing on Top. And so tell us a little bit about um, how the proceeds go, can go to Boomerang Cares as far as like how to, how that works as far as like your uh, roofing project yeah. can help that fund yeah. that. So when I started my roofing company, this is five years ago in May, which is you know, freaking amazing to the team and everybody. Um, I, I wanted to do something for the community because that's, that's what we're about. And I felt, okay, there's a need somewhere. How can we help? And when we first started the company, I, I told myself, okay, I, said, I know some nonprofits. What can we do? Well, boom, it just clicked. Okay, with each roof replacement that we do, we'll give back a portion of the proceeds back to a local nonprofit. And 
how it works is when somebody, uh, you know, signs a contract, they agree to use our services. Well, we, we do it afterwards, we get the money. And the cool thing is we have a vendors list of all the nonprofits and if they're not, and we send it off to the homeowner, we, we tell them, Hey, this is what we do. This is a program that we have. And you can select here, or if you have your own that we don't know about, please let us know if we, we'll reach out to them. And so they'll get a list or have their own. They'll let us know. And the cool thing about it is uh, when we reach out to the nonprofit, they come to the office or we meet them, give them a check, but the check is uh, under the, the donated under the homeowner's name. Mm -hmm. So that's what I love about what this program that we do because everybody's winning in the situation. You know, the homeowner feels like, oh, man, they get to give something back as well without even knowing it sometimes. Yeah. And it's really cool. And, and they're helping somebody out that they had no idea that they could help out. Yeah. And it's uh, and then from that that point, we always thank the homeowner. But we let the uh, nonprofit know as well that, hey, this came from Sally. From law. So give them recognition and everything. So it's amazing. It's an amazing program that we have. And, and I just love being able to do it because, again, I feel the more you throw out, the more you get back. And, and it has worked for us. You know, it's worked for us because not just the, gra the, the, the feeling good moment, but it's, it also has brought in business because they see what we're doing for the community and people love helping out the community. So it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, I love that. I love your abundance mindset in that mm -hmm. because you, you could easily just say, oh, it goes to Boomerang Cares. Yeah. But the fact that you're allowing them to choose the nonprofit of their choice, uh, that's amazing. And I've, I've loved that about you from, from Jump Street, you know, whether it was, you know, moving companies or marketing or roofing. Um, I think we all share the fact that there's so much abundance out there mm -hmm. that we don't have to quote unquote compete. We can all win. A thousand percent. We can all win. So I really thousand. enjoy your mentality when it comes um, to that. Um, I know you guys have a uh, golf tournament coming up. Yes. So that is that the next um, big event for Boomerang Cares? Yes. This is one of this, so we have two events, uh, the gala that we have in December. It's the first Saturday every year of December. And so we have that and then our annual golf tournament. This is our second one, actually. So uh, last year over exceeded our expectations. I didn't realize how it was going to be. And yeah, there's some learning curves because there's some hiccups, but uh, and there's still going to be some hiccups. You know, even with the gala, there's some hiccups. But this year is going to be a fun time. Last year is May the 4th, and so it was May the 4th Be With You mm -hmm. a theme. Yeah. And this golf tournament helps high school seniors uh, with caps and gowns, senior yearbooks. Um, scholarships is the main one. And uh, it's just something that we couldn't afford as kids. I didn't have a yearbook. I couldn't afford a class ring. I, you know, the gowns are, I think, $120 or something like that. And it gets pricey. And so we go in and help these high school seniors that, again, are going through hardships and struggles. And, and, and then the scholarships. You know, we gave out, uh, I think, $5,000 last year from this golf tournament to scholarships. And uh, just being able to help out those, those kids during this time frame because they want to go do something. Uh, this, last year, the golf tournament helped us. One, uh, the dean of Serenity High uh, reached out to us and had this one student that was graduating couldn't afford a laptop to mm -hmm. go to college. Mm -hmm. Reached out to us. We bought her a new laptop. And we met her for lunch and her mother. And giving her that laptop, man, you would have thought we gave her a million dollars, man, because she hit, and it was so beautiful. She held on to it like this, Yeah, you know, for, for the longest time, not even knowing it, but she held on to it. I'm like, man, that's – and just having a, a student that's wanting to go on further with her education and not being able to – why should that stop her, you know? Yeah. And that, that's what sucks. Like, you no, know, and, and it's just beautiful for people like Boomerang Cares to come in and be able to help out with that. And so this golf tournament, again, helps with, with that portion of it. That's what we really focus on with those, those uh, proceeds. And then come with the gala, it's, it's more about the – the holiday season, helping families that are really going through hardships, can't afford electricity or, or, or you know, their water or stuff like that, and uh, really help them with that portion of it. But this golf tournament, it's May 14th. Okay. So May 14th, it is on a Tuesday, but I'm actually going to start promoting it next week. We've got everything ready for it uh, and promoting it now, actually. But wanting, uh, you know, as many and as everybody we can possibly get out there, it's going to be at Waters um, uh, right there off of 75 and Legacy. 
Okay. So, uh, what is that? Uh, water? W- Waters. Um, Waters Creek? Waters Creek, yes. Okay. Thank you. Water well, Street Golf Course. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and then I'm assuming, I mean, you need players, obviously. Players. And then uh, sponsors. Sponsors, yes. Yeah. So sponsorship, uh, we have it at $750, and that gets you four uh, golfers, two carts, and um, you, you're able to set up your booth and a yard sign. Okay. Uh, well, Boomerang Care is going to provide the yard signs with your logo and everything, but you're able to set up your booth and – you know, hand out whatever you like for marketing materials and stuff like that and get to know the players. And that's the biggest, you know, whenever I do sponsorships, those are the key things that I like because you're in control of that. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what I love. And and just being able to talk and establish relationships because there's going to be some, you know, big time players there, you know, and, and just getting to know them, even if it's brief, well, you, you touch on that and you, st- you form some type of relationship and then you can go on further with that. So uh, that's going to be for that portion of it. And then we have also a $250 uh, sponsorship as well and that's going to get your yard sign out there okay and yeah so it's going to be an amazing event it's going to be a grab and go breakfast a lunch a mexican buffet lunch will be provided uh, and awards and prizes and so it's exciting and looking forward to it yeah that sounds yeah. like a, a great time for yeah. a great cause so um definitely let's all uh get behind uh the golf tournament um so in in closing kind of share how can we as as companies as businesses how can we be helping Boomerang and Carriage? If we're like, you know what, it's time to start giving back to a nonprofit. I believe in David. I believe in the board. So how? what are some ways how we can be helping you guys out? Honestly, you just share this video. Yeah. You know, share this content. That's a huge impact. Just being able to just just say, you know, when you're in a conversation and you start hearing nonprofit, think of Boomerang Carriers. And, and I mean, not just think about Boomerang Cares, but think about all the nonprofits. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when something comes to mind where, oh, man, I wish I could, but I can't afford this. Those are the conversations that you should really be listening to. You know, you know things that, man, I wish I could put my kid in that, that stuff. Yeah. And that's where you're like, you know what? Boomerang Cares does that stuff. Yes. And those are the little things. Just, you know, I always tell people you don't know unless you ask or you don't know unless you're listening. So there's two things. Listening is the biggest one. And then ask. Because you know, li- while you're sitting in a conversation, they're throwing out so many things. When you hear something that piques your interest or you know, that's where, oh, I know. How can I help you? You know, type thing. And so, yeah, it's really just about going out there and getting the word out. Uh, awesome. and, and with the nonprofits, it's, that's typically what they rely on. But this is what makes a huge impact right here. You know, what we have right here yeah. is the biggest thing we can possibly do to share the information that we're giving out. No, that's great. Uh, what else do you want everyone to know about Boomerang Cares? And uh, we would love to help any and everybody out. Um, Boomerang Cares, you know, we, we're actually a two-year nonprofit now, but we started this back in 2015 not knowing we were going to be a nonprofit. And we are all about the community. Right now, like I said, we're in Collin County, and I'm born and raised here in McKinney, Texas, and that's really where my focus is at here in the Collin County area. But eventually, I'd like to go a little further than that. Um, and we're, we are going to start taking applications for board members as well. And so, you know, with the board member process, we would love some good people on our side. You know, it, you're only as strong as the weakest link. And being able to have some good, solid people behind you makes a world of a difference of, of, of a structure. And so that's, uh, that's kind of where we're at right now with Boomerang Cares. Um, we would, again, love to help any and everybody out, even if it, we're not – what you're looking for, we can lead you in the right direction. Yeah, so. I love that. Well, thank you so much for coming on the oh, show, man. David. You, I mean, like I said, to see where you started with this and where it's grown, just know from me, I'm super proud of oh, you yeah. um, as a man, as a, as a colleague. So I uh, just really appreciate you coming on the show, your dear well, friend of mine. And you mean a lot to me, and I appreciate you. And, um, and you can find us at boomerangcares.org and also contact us at um, – uh, my wife's phone number, and that's Josie Garcia. She's the uh, board member, executive director. And you can contact her at 469-396-7203. Any questions or anything that you guys have regarding our nonprofit or want to help or volunteer, give us a shout. We'd love to help you. you can check out our Facebook and Instagram page as well, Boomerang Cares. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. And Mario. Love you, brother. Love you too, bro. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Well, we'll make sure to have all that information in the show notes uh, as well Perfect. so that people can see you know, the website, phone number, all that jazz. And so uh, I'll get with you after the show to get all that information. And so, 
you heard it here. If you're really looking for a nonprofit uh, to get behind, uh, first of all, it, hail season's coming, storm mm-hmm. season's coming. So if you do have a hail event, holler at uh, Roofing on Top, and the proceeds can go to nonprofit of your choice. And then also, let's get behind Boomerang Cares. And so support them and then the golf tournament and the gala coming up. Really appreciate you coming on the show, David. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much.